All right, so today is October 14th. Um, it is 11 a.m., so the solar eclipse is just starting, and I wanted to show the difference in how much solar is being produced on my uh, SolarArc 15K here um, so we can compare. So I'll do uh, videos at different times of the solar eclipse just so you can see exactly how much it affects your solar production uh, from your solar panels. So it's 11 a.m. right now. The solar eclipse is just getting started. And we're producing 9.22 kilowatts here. And Oh, and for all of you that have complained that I need to peel the protective covering off the solar arc, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. There we go. So in about 30 minutes, 45 minutes or so, I'll take another reading as the solar eclipse is... Um, well, as the sun is getting more covered by the moon during the solar eclipse, and we'll see how it changes the production from about a little over 9 kilowatts I'm producing. And it's a sunny day, so there's no clouds out there, so we should get some pretty true readings on this, which will be neat. So update is 11.10 a.m., and we're now at 7.76 kilowatts. So it is definitely happening in the solar eclipse right now, but it's kind of hard to see. Um, at the moment, but the moon has just started to block the sun, and we went from, what, 9.2 kilowatts roughly down to 7.7. .7. So, it's happening. Okay, it is 11.40 a.m., so we're about 15 minutes from the max peak of the solar eclipse, and now I'm bringing in 2.48. Sorry about the glare there. <laughs> My phone thinks it's night, so it's turning on the flash automatically. This has gotten really dark now. The sun's probably 85% across. And you can see my production's now gone from 9 down to 2.4. So we are definitely seeing it now, and it is very dark outside. So I'll do another video here in at the max uh, blockage of the sun here, coming up in about 15 minutes. All right, it is 11.56. So this is the max peak of the solar eclipse here in central Texas. And it is dark out here. I know the lens, the way it absorbs light on these cameras. Uh, you can't really tell, but the sun is almost completely blocked. It's just the outer edge that's actually showing those rays coming through. So let's go look at what the solar production is now. So I turned the light on in my room here where I have all my solar equipment just so my uh, flash wouldn't come on because it's really dark in this room now. Um, but here we go, max peak. I am bringing in 1.26 kilowatts and I have a 19 kilowatt array. So you can see it has demolished my entire solar production with the solar eclipse. So pretty neat to see. Um, and hopefully you found some value in this. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, guys, for uh, more solar tips on how I'm doing this thing off grid.